Okay. Hi, guys. I am here with Jan. <laughs> from hey, Jimmy. Saves money. Hi, Jan. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having problems hearing her, so I hope you guys can hear better. Um, Let us know if you can hear me. Yes, I know. I can, I can hear you a, a little bit, something that they can hear you better. So in my last video, I talked about budgeting, basics of budgeting. And so I asked for suggestions on the next video and what the topic would be. And the comment that I got both in YouTube and on Instagram is that many of you want to talk about how to save money on groceries. So whether you're single, whether you're a single parent or um, have minimal income or, um, or you lost your job. Unfortunately, I got some comments that said that as well. Or you just want to save more money on groceries. So I was like, who do I call to talk about frugality all day long? And it's Jan. <laughs> she was kind enough to come on. I'm beyond flattered and honored. Oh, no, the honor is mine. The honor is mine. So we were thinking about setting this up three ways to help you guys out the most as much as possible. So first, I wanted to talk about tips of what to do before you even come up with your grocery list. And then tips on how to save even more money when you're at the grocery store. And then tips on how to save money when, once you come home. So do you want to take the first one? I hope I could hear you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If, if your comment just would be so kind to let me know if, if you can hear me. I really appreciate it. The biggest mistake that you probably agree with me on this, Deb, that a lot of people make is they're not prepared to shop because they do not know their inventory of their own stock. For one, they're not familiar with their own inventory. They're in a hurry. The best thing to do is be prepared to know what you have because our lives can change just like that. Yeah. And sometimes people are suddenly single for whatever the reason, or there's a sudden job loss, or the refrigerator breaks down. You know where I'm going with this, life changes. Mm -hmm. So the best thing we can always control for sure is how much money we spend at the grocery store. Absolutely. So the first tip that I can give is know your inventory. Mm -hmm. um, do not duplicate. If you're really watching the pennies, do not duplicate things you already have because you're tying up money that can be going to something else that you may need. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's really important to know your inventory. Yeah, no, absolutely. Taking inventory of what you have in the fridge, the freezer and the pantry. And you know, I find that the best place to st uh, start a stockpile is in your freezer. Do you agree? I so agree with that because mm -hmm. we could, I call it manufacturing our own uh, homegrown recipes. Yeah. Um, I was going to bring it over, but people uh, on my channel are familiar with it. I like to freeze things. You know, those compartmental freezer savers, frozen food, mm -hmm. instead of always buying frozen dinners outside. I already own those kind of, uh, it's really a good idea to invest in those. And the next thing that I suggest is don't be afraid to cook your meals ahead of time. I don't, a lot of people like poo poo on that, but I find it actually quite relaxing. I was a single mother. First I was married. That didn't work out. So then I had my daughter and myself. And as a former school teacher, you can only imagine that kind of schedule with 40 kids in the classroom. The last thing I felt like doing was spending two hours a night on dinner. No way. So I found it utterly relaxing on the weekend to take two hours to do a little food prepping. Do you find that relaxing to put on some good music? It's not a big deal. I don't know why some people make such a negative big deal about it. And I do offer a suggestion with the meal prep. Mm -hmm. Why not do a slow cooker dinner at the same time? that you're doing the other things that would go in an oven, for example. See, that's why I turned to you for going for free money, because even when I feel like I know it and I can talk about this for long, I'm like, no. You I love my slow cooker. cooker. Oh my gosh, no, that's absolutely true. I'm gonna actually try that this week. <laughs> that's you great. That, there you go, you're like, boom, I did it. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to talk about too is like, I get, a, I get a few comments when I do my videos on, on recipes and how to save time in the kitchen. Like my, my recipes are usually 30 minutes at most and you have enough for leftovers the next day. But the one thing I get in common is like, how do you come up with ideas for meals? 
So before you've even made your grocery list at this point, you're looking at what's in the fridge, freezer, and the pantry. And if you have ingredients that you can't see how they get together or like what to make, you know, you, you can Google it. You can go to Pinterest. You can go to all recipes. We talked about that in, in our planning video a few weeks I ago. I love that. Which was an awesome I video. That. I got so many great comments on it and I'll link it down below because anytime Jan on, Please it's going to be do. I, I could watch that one four times and, and be <laughs> happy watching it. <laughs> Why, thank you. No? <laughs> Can I share a story that happened to me? Unexpectedly, the person that usually helps me shop, because sometimes it's difficult for me to get around. You know, I had an accident years ago. I require, maybe you don't know this, but I walk around with a cane as a result of the accident. So therefore, it's hard for me to navigate sometimes. And I live in a walk-up. So imagine carrying heavy bags. So my person that helps me has not been available for two weeks. But guess what? The world didn't end. Why? I was prepared. Oh. I worked with my stockpile, which we could get mm -hmm. into in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Stockpile, I worked with things. Before you go shopping, if you're really watching your pennies, work with what you already have, right, Debbie? If you have rice and you enjoy, let's say, chicken and rice, well, get some chicken while you're at the grocery store to go with your rice. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that nature. Exam again, getting to know your pantry and working with it and not against it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I wanted to, uh, um, well, first of all, about the inventory. It's funny, as I'm taking notes because I didn't want to forget anything, I got to be notes here with you with your notebook. <laughs> um, Trust me, notebook. I'm like, like yay. <laughs> um, actually, when I was thinking about like what I actually do in order to like, you know, give as many tips as we possibly can, I actually yes. take inventory twice a week. And I, and I, and wow. I'm like, you know, like I don't really talk about this that much. So, I take inventory when the fridge is bare and I'm, and I'm, you know, coming up with uh, meals for the week and before I even think about going grocery shopping. I'm making a note of it with my trusty pen, Debbie. Twice a <laughs> week. I like this. <laughs> I say on, my scrap, on my scrap paper, just saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. And, and then I take inventory like once, like, so, so I take inventory before I even think about grocery shopping. I want to see what I have in order to make meals. So then that way it's less that I have to buy at the supermarket. But before even before like when i'm when i'm like towards my end of my meal my meal plan supposedly you know the amount of meals that i came up with i do another inventory but it's not for a grocery list it's to see what i can supplement in to stretch yeah. my groceries even more because by Love doing that. that i've been able to take like a week's worth of groceries and done like 10 days and one time even two weeks the next one just by looking and I'm like, okay, I've got potatoes, I've got eggs, I've got milk. I'm going to make like a, like a tortilla with some, you know, garlic and onions, put it in, put it in the oven, some cheese on top and boom, we got dinner for another day. So by doing two inventories, which it doesn't really take long, it takes me like 10 minutes because it's not like a, like a chef's kitchen. Like I know pretty much the staples and what I have in the fridge, but by doing two, maximizing my savings. I love that. Not to mention time, gas effort energy do we always want to be the grocery store on a saturday let's say you work monday through friday right oh mm -hmm. my goodness gracious saturday at the grocery store like really mm -hmm. like really like the whole world is in there on saturday yeah I, I, this, I, I don't know about your location but no. i can tell you in this location yeah so therefore you know, i am not the type of person that enjoys standing there for hours on end no but I do enjoy when I do have my inventory. I love food prepping. I feel a sense of empowerment. I yep. know what I put in there. Mm -hmm. I know what's in my freezer. Yep. Two entire weeks went by without grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. And I still eat very well. Yes. So well, I, did, I didn't, I actually didn't eat that well the day before two weeks was up. <laughs> I, <ran out. laughs> I actually took my camera. <laughs> And I took a picture of my refrigerator. I was like, I want to prove to you, like, I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Like, my fridge is bare. Let's go, you know? Yeah, yeah. But isn't no. that great? That's a clean slate, like, yes. you know, like a brand new start, you know? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. But working yeah. with what you already have in your, whatever, some people call it a pantry, some people have a cupboard, some mm -hmm. people have a, a corner of their, whatever it is, wherever you store your extra food. Mm -hmm. work with that if, if if you know if you find like you don't want to put out that outlay of cash suppose you have a you want to make an extra payment on your credit card bill right okay that might be more important to you at that particular moment 
than buying double doses of certain foods when you already have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They're saying. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then also with the second inventory, like what I do too, is I go to look to see like what I can make to strike meals, but also like what's about to go bad. Like I have, oh. I have, a, basket, I have a basket of onions. I, I, you know, I garlic and onions go in everything I make. And, and I'm like, I, I sifted through real quick, just some more. And then I can tell that they don't, they don't have much of a shelf life yet. Like that. So I take them, I chop them up, I put it in a freezer bag and I put it in the freezer. Like I always say, like, you know, you're going to see things laying flat. What's good about chopping up vegetables and laying flat in a Ziploc bag or in a freezer bag or, or a vacuum seal bag and putting it in the freezer, by laying them flat, not only are you saving, you know, saving time, listen to me, saving space in the freezer, but it's easy for you to cut out what you want for the recipe. That's right. That, nothing goes bad. I have a huge bag right now in my freezer of celery. I have another one of onions because again, I saw it only had a phase left, chop it up the way I normally do. And I put it in the freezer. That's it. You know, many people today, that's wonderful, by the way, many people today no longer have a need for an ice cube tray, but never get rid of them because the compartments in them are wonderful. You can use a freezer tray to freeze individual like little broths, like if you're unwell, mm -hmm. you can just pop them out as you need it, prepared. Uh, you could freeze your onions, uh, different things, whatever, celery, whatever, pop out as you need it so you don't go beyond your portion control, especially good for those that are single yeah. or, you know, small families, families of two. Oftentimes we talk about, and I, don't get me wrong, I grew up in a large family, but, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you grow up in a tiny family, mm -hmm. smaller family, or, or you're single. That really changes the dynamics of your shopping. But may I add just one thing that I believe is very important for a person that is either by themselves or living with one more person? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Never, ever bypass. If you see a family pack, if you enjoy Moody Chicken, don't bypass buying it, thinking, oh, family, thinking there's five people. You buy that. And you, right, Debbie, you divide that. You are set for a while. That's a gift to you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I actually wrote that down. I, I knew it. I was like, I even have my pen here. because. Oh, my, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we share a brain when it comes to this. Okay. So, uh, talk, since we mentioned the ice, uh, um, the ice tray, I want to bring up something. I saw it on TV one time, and it blew my mind. Like, I don't buy fresh herbs. But if they're like really reduced price or they come in my smart box, like I'll, I'll, I'll use them. But it's really hard to use the whole thing. Like, I mean, obviously, if I have cilantro, I'm making guacamole, like I'm making my pineapple rice, I'm putting it in there. But you, you know, they, they kind of go quickly. And so you don't want anything to be thrown out. You know, you try to cut back food waste, to cut back on, on that. So, what I saw a chef do one time, and I, it blew my mind you know, ice, an ice tray. And you put a little bit of olive oil in it on, on all on all the carbons. And you take the herb, no matter what herb it is, and you chop it up and you put it in there. And the next time you want to make so like make something more more flavorful, you take one of those. Thank you. Love it. Do you know how many times I've done that? And it and it, and, it, and you're taking like a recipe you've made like a million times. And one or two of those cubes. Yeah, yeah. It, it, when I saw that, I was like, I remember that for life. <laughs> so. I it up. <laughs> I love, love, love that idea. Yeah. Now, talking about like saving money before you're even like writing down your groceries, I wanted to bring up the sales cycle, right? Now, now I'm in New Jersey and Jan's in New York. But I know, like, I, I believe it's this way for most of the United States. I'm sure the commenters will tell me if I'm wrong. But, um, our cycles go from Sunday to Saturday. So what you do is, you, you know, you look at what you have on hand, you make your grocery list. And then and then you still need to add on a list in order to come up with your meals for however long you're planning. You look at the sales cycle because sales cycles go uh, from Sunday to Saturday. So let's say, and, and then the sneak peek, the sneak peek, they say, comes in on Thursday. Thursday, you're looking at not only what's on sale through Sunday, but you're looking at the following week's sale. You have enough groceries on hand to last you another three to four days. You're not like then, what do you do? Plan ahead. 
Start looking at Love what it. you can make ahead of time. Start looking at those sales. Because again, it's going to give you a sneak peek. And chicken. That's a huge one for me. As chicken. chicken is so expensive. I say it all the time on my grocery calls. And people, I get comments all the time like, yes, Debbie, we know. Chicken's really expensive by you. <laughs> but, I'm like, but some people oh. I've seen disagree with the thing about the chicken. Mm -hmm. But they are not living in this region. Yes, they do not yes. understand there yes. is a difference in New yes. York and New Jersey versus the rest of the country. Yes. And I'm not yes. complaining because I love New York and I'm, oh, not, I'm I, never leaving here. Yeah, but yeah, that's no. our reality. That's our reality. So so by having a sneak peek into what's going to be on sale the following week, you can plan accordingly. that way. And also, you, if you have a grocery budget that you need to stick to, what I do is I see what sale. And it only need it. Like I don't like shopping sales. Like, oh, like I can, I can be a mass chef, and this ingredient is gonna be on sale. Like I'm gonna buy five of them, and and I'm and I'm gonna be like, you know, chopping this up in the air. And like, no, no, be realistic. But if there's something that you do buy regularly that you know you're gonna use constantly, that you're gonna miss if you don't have it, if it's gonna be on sale and you can afford it, more than one. Oh sure. I mean that's yeah. I I agree with that totally. Mm -hmm. I agree. The other thing is buy what your family likes. I might like something and someone else may go, ew, mm -hmm. that's real life. Buy well, what I your say, family likes. Vegetables and things, but that's another topic. <laughs> that's another live show. <laughs> <laughs> <Did> I? <laughs> I mean, we could go on and on about the kids menu, which in my opinion is out of control in some families because I'm not saying your family, I don't know that anything personal like this, but mm -hmm. in general, I think that a lot of parents tend to over shop for children, in my opinion, as far as food, mm -hmm. giving them large, large, large Slurpees, large, whatever, just it's, the, the, the kid is this big and the drink is this big. <laughs> I'm like, you're opening up another door. You open up Pandora's box. Okay. Now. That's the third show I offered you. <laughs> <I'm regretting. laughs> or it's the opposite it's the complete opposite they price up like i don't know again i don't want to come off judgmental on anybody whoever buys them or likes them or whatever for me those little those little switch things oh um i don't want to name 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 what it is no 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 item specifics yeah no, mm -hmm. but it's a kit it's like six, seven dollars for this i kit. know that kit little cracker with the pizza i'm like what is that it's teeny tiny. I'm like, who's gonna get full on that at school? And plus, it's realistically, it's know. unrealistic for you know the ones the kids that I know. I mean, a person, you know, anyone that you know can make really cute, similar ideas. Mm -hmm. I mean, just we're talking about people, for example, at this time that are, have faced some sort of a life changing event. Yes. That they to me, those are luxury foods. When you hit those, you know, mm -hmm. anything that's fancy packaging smaller cuter the main thing is your your family gets the nutrition they need but definitely focus on the stuff they like to eat we're not talking necessarily about convenience foods get a couple of convenience foods for those nights when you're like it still beats eating out all the time yeah yeah absolutely absolutely so and and, and since you brought up the uh, the the ice cube tray i got one for you beans <laughs> Somewhere in this now, house. this one I have to hear. Bean to the ice cube tray. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just, it's just, this is just another thing that that that, uh, that I look at all the time. The bags of beans. They could be a dollar. And, and sometimes even less than that. At least in the supermarkets by me. If they're on sale, they could be two for a dollar. Different kinds of beans. Dried beans. Right. The price you pay for the amount of cans that you can buy. So equal the same sure. amount of beans that you do in a bag. That, that's that's mm -hmm. something I always think to myself, like, I wonder if people know this. Like, first of all, the, I'm the, again, not, I'm not against I'm not saying anything bad about canned beans. But the cans are in a preserve so that they can stay longer in the can. But the bag has twice as much for half the price. Like, right. Oh, so you're looking at value, not necessarily, oh, like, oh, that price looks so good. Yeah, at the grocery store on the shelf, a price may look good, but you may not be getting the value. Where with that bag, if you put a little more money into it, let's say the can is a dollar fifty, but that bag is two twenty nine. But just think of how many beans you could generate from that bag of dried beans. I'm not more than like a dollar twenty five for a bag of beans. A bag of beans. That's it, sounds like, it sounds like we're talking about Jack and the Beans, but. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> my magic bag of beans. But good old beans. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, they're so easy. They're so easy to prepare. Like it's it's really simple to prepare. It's not a big thing. But I just I don't know. Like sometimes when I see them and they sit on those shelves forever, those cans. And I'm just like, the bag is like fresher. I think it tastes better. If it tastes better. I think it's fresher. And and if you can get it on sale, it can stay in your pocket forever. So if you ever in a moment where like you know like you're stretching your dollar as much as possible rice and beans like add some protein to it you know you do what you can but i just think it's such a simple in that's always in my kitchen so i just thought i'd bring that up awesome i have a secret trick formula for getting four nights meals mm -hmm. secret formula okay mm -hmm. one you definitely roast whatever roast you like if it's a roast you got a guaranteed couple of nights the other Thing would be either a casserole or a soup or a stew. That's four nights done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you realize how much savings that is in the grocery store? We're not talking about writing a list. Oh, Monday, I'm going to eat soup. Tuesday, I'm going to eat that. I don't believe in that. I believe in having a method, a plan, mm -hmm. a meal plan in prepping. Yeah. In that, in that sense, like, oh, well, okay. Next week, I'll have a, a roast. Next week, I'll have some stew. Mm -hmm, it just, mm -hmm. I don't name nights for it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I write them down. I For $2 at Target, like a few years ago, I got this meal planning thing. You know, it's got Monday through Sunday. and, and But I, I just write down the meals I'm going to make that week, and I put it on, on the board. You know, and I told you before, my yeah, son's- I have no issue there. with anyone who wants to do that. If I, that were, I, if I, works for your family, you go for it. No, I don't want to be flexible. Like, I just, want, I just want it written down so everyone knows, like, these are the meals we're going to have this week. And then according what happens and how much time I have is what I do. Right. Try to prep as much as you can on the weekend before the, before the week starts. Things like that. Um, the next thing I wanted to bring up is that do you coupon? No. No? Okay. Never did. I used to I used to be one of Shocker, those. Jeff from New York City that saves money, never coupon. <laughs> I can't lie. Just say it. <laughs> I used to Again, I don't want to judge anyone. Only time. electronically, you know, like when you give your card yes. and they take it, you know, like that way, yes. But clipping coupons, no, because watching that show made me exhausted just watching them clip and, <laughs> and jump in the, you know, the dumpsters. I can't, I said, I can't do a dumpster dive. Imagine me like that. Forget about it. <laughs> I'll never come out. <laughs> never happened for me. <laughs> my, my feet will be sticking out. I'll be like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to coupon a lot. I used to coupon a lot and I didn't see much savings, but I did come up with something that really helps me save when it comes to chicken. Now the like okay, so so picture the scenario, right? It's Thursday. You're looking at the sneak peek of the following sale that goes Sunday through Saturday. Yeah. You see that a certain brand, and I wish I could say brands because I could really help people out more if I said brands, but I know I can get in trouble. Um, <laughs> let's, let's, I know, I've heard this. So let's say that a certain chicken brand is going to sell on Sunday, right? And you need chicken or you can afford chicken and you want to be able to put it in the freezer so you have less expensive meals later on down. I go on the website. I go on their website. Uh, just just that just that specific website i'm you know i'm about saving time and saving money awesome I go, that, I go on that specific website web let you here i go what's <laughs> websites let you print from two to three coupons at a time so i go and i, I go on the website and i'll look and it'll, it'll tell me like you know um the boneless chicken breast, you know, boneless chicken thighs, you know, like uh, the the tenderloins like it specifically says what what cut of the pack of chicken so whatever my family enjoys, I just click on it and I print it. Because I'm on the computer, sometimes it lets me print three sets. Of wow, those. that's good. That's really good. When I know it's gonna be on, on Sunday, right? I know what I'm gonna I know I'm gonna stop on the chicken if I can afford it. I'm not telling anyone to go and, and blow a budget. But if you can afford it, do that. Some supermarkets, at least the ones here, they double a coupon if it's 99 cents or less. So if you have a dollar coupon, it's a dollar off. But if you have 99 cent coupon, it's dollar ninety eight off. Plus the sales wow. price. So let's say that the chicken is 20 to 30 cent off. And now I have a coupon on top of it. Some days the supermarkets double, I mean, triple coupons. 
I won't say what supermarket does it, but I know that the little girls go. (laughs) (laughs) And this is why Debbie comes on my show. (laughs) You are brilliant. (laughs) There are days where they, where they pull on 90 cent coupon, you know? So that's when you kind of got to think outside the box. Like if if you can afford to think ahead and you can afford to think like this, like just by doing like printing a few pieces of paper, you know, you can save some money and and it really does add up. And then now you can stock your freezer and you've got chicken for a long time. And then also know your coupon policy at the supermarket because Mm. like the the supermarkets that I go to, they only allow uh, four coupons per item. So if I have four packages of chicken, that's it. They don't care if it's a tenderloin, if it's chicken breast or thigh. So if you're buying eight, for example, because you did this and you're buying a lot, but divide it up two, into two things. Just put the thing in the middle twice and go. Like wow. just thinking ahead like this, I feel like, again, only if you can afford it. I'm not asking anyone to, you know, to do too I much. I love that those ideas. That's great. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, that's, again, no, like I, and also if you don't have a printer, you, the local libraries let you print and go on the websites for free, at least New Jersey. Hopefully that's a point, that's places. a point. Um, you know what? Okay, I was gonna. I, I said this actually earlier, but I want to just throw in like something that sounds crazy. From the time I was a teenager to the moment of now, the mm-hmm. sizes of bowls, of cups, of everything has grown exponentially. Mm-hmm. As a result, all of us have grown exponentially. Okay, mm-hmm. when I was a child, really, a muffin. People that are of a certain age, I'm 62, may recall what a muffin used to look like back in 1975. Mm -hmm. The muffins of today, you can literally cut into four pieces. Mm -hmm. So I think that we need to either use my rule of half, which I have this rule of half. If you can Mm -hmm. half it, you know, spread the wealth and share it. It saves money. It slows down your rate of spending Mm -hmm. because things are so big. Show things in smaller bowls. It looks bigger. It's these little mind tricks, you know? Yeah. No, it is. It's a mind. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is. No, that's great. I used to, um, I used to be a lot heavier years ago and, and I went through like, you know, like I've tried like, you know, the Weight Watchers or whatever else. And they would say like, like when you go to, like, if you ever go out to eat, which I'm, this isn't the topic here, but whenever you go out to eat, like ask for a container, take half of it and put it away because of this, because. No, but it's important in there. terms of saving in general. Because if people are, you know, they're in positions where they have to figure out ways to maneuver their grocery bill, Mm -hmm. trimming down our portion sizes or just filling up on other things like more vegetables, you know, vegetables are very, you know, very filling and you could get some good deal. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. And then, of course, I'm, I know you're going to agree with me because we've talked about this once before. Like, don't buy prepared foods. Like, that's, oh. that, that's, that's you know, you're in the supermarket. If you have this or whether, you know, like, hopefully you have, hopefully, like, this is all obviously before you go to the supermarket where we're talking about. But if you're at the supermarket and you have your list, don't go buying anything prepared. Like, it's just, you're, it's, it's marked up. I don't care if they put a sale, a sale sticker on it. Like, it's still going to be marked up because you're paying the labor of whoever that chopped it, that cleaned it, that, that diced it. The two seconds. I mean, if you were to look at an actual clock by the mm-hmm. seconds, just for fun, do this mm-hmm. for fun one day. Count mm-hmm. how long it took you, let's say to anyone out there, mm-hmm. to chop up that celery stick or that onion or that carrot. Yeah. Why should I pay 50 cents more for going chop, chop? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not that fresh either. It's ready to expire. Those yeah, in those that are cut up. I was about to say, <laughs> see, here we go again. <laughs> We're on the same page. <laughs> like melon, like melon, like you know, like I, I um, it wasn't me. It was it was my girlfriend. She's like, oh, come on over, whatever, and she had package things. And as she's taking out the cantaloupe and everything, I'm like, it doesn't taste right. It's, it's, there's no freshness to it. You know, it's kind of like a little too soft. You know, but obviously she didn't know. Like she was like, bringing things out, you know, to serve. But I was like. You know, like, and obviously she paid more for that than she would have if we would have just cut up on ourselves. So now the only time I'll grab it, if it says manager special and I intend to use it that night or Mm -hmm. freeze it immediately, don't let it sit and sour in your fridge. You just threw your money away. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now. So, so, I mean, anything to add this category, because I wanted to move on to like when you're at the supermarket, unless you have more things to add. 
No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so now, so now, Thank you. This, yeah, no, so at, now you're at the supermarket. You're at the meat or chicken counter. Like one thing, like I, I mentioned it once before and, and, and the reaction was like crazy. Really? Like I, it was coincidence. It wasn't anything I put thought into it. But I was with my chicken plants. <laughs> and I was hovering over trying to make a decision. And, 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 and the manager of the meat section came on. He was like, you need any help? And I couldn't help it. I turned to him and I'm like, when do you start breaking things down? <laughs> I don't know why. I just, oh, I mean, frugality is on my mind 24 7. <laughs> I think I said hi, and then I asked him when he marks things down. And, and I met, we don't mind. We love frugality. This is why. <laughs> Anybody watching it, you if you're frugal and you're watching, you are cool. It is cool to be frugal. Just saying. I heard the other day on on I don't remember whose show it is. I want to give her a shout out. She was so funny. Um, she was saying that like just because I'm frugal doesn't mean I'm cheap. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. That's right, because there's total difference. Sometimes when people like like are cheap, and again, no no judgment. But if, but if you're thinking about saving, sometimes you don't think about like like quality of things. You know what I mean? Like we're looking at people who who aren't. It's about stretching your grocery budget. It's about trying to make smart decisions. You know, to make the most out of the food that you can make and waste a lot less. So it I just takes like that extra out. minute. You went the extra mile, for example, not to interrupt you, but you went the extra mile to ask that butcher that question. That is a great question. First of all, it was so kind of him to ask. He asked you first if you needed help. He just is that what I mean? Do you need any help? And I just turned to him. I I I hope I said hi before I asked. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're a polite person. I'm sure you said hi. <laughs> yeah, right. I sort of had a conversation with him. Like I'm like, okay, the sales go from Sunday to Saturday, right? So like, yeah. in my mind, I'm thinking you have to clear out space for what's going to go on sale the following Sunday. I'm yeah. Like, so what, they, what do you start putting those stickers on? And he and he looked at me. He goes, "That's a great question." He's like, "Wednesday night," because because by if now they have from Sunday to Wednesday to sell what they can, and then things not on that were not on the circular now all of a sudden are marked 20, 30 percent off. And there's nothing wrong. So, with are you suggesting that in that case a person should go in later that evening or early Thursday morning, for example? Mm -hmm. Which which would be the best? Like that later that night to go back or Thursday morning would work best. You're breaking a little bit. I can hear. I, are you? I'm yeah, I know you too. We have to ask the commenters if they can hear us. Yeah, no, I, I, I heard. I saw Lisa pop up before. I wanted to say hi to her. And she's oh, because like, I, I don't see any comment. I don't see any comments. Oh, Pam, Pam says that the sound is good. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. it's just, it's just on our part, hey, Pam. Okay. <laughs> hi, Pam. Um, yeah. So. What they were doing, so I'm sorry, I don't know what you asked me because it broke a little bit. But what they what they're doing is that they want to clear the shelves. The things that they were marking down, I asked them. I was like, they're not expiring, like they're not like sale by dates right. anytime soon. And like, no, we just need to clear it out because the big, you know, the big chicken product is coming out. Like you know, like the next thing is coming out, or especially before a holiday, like before, but like the week before Easter, when they want to put up hams. Like they bought those things down like you wouldn't believe. Like same thing right before Thanksgiving, right before Christmas. They start That's marking amazing. everything down. You look, you look at the at the meat and chicken and as Wednesday, Thursday morning, if you guys can. At least by us. And it was just like like a sea of stickers. I was like, I'm like, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, here I am. So and <laughs> At the, at the supermarket in, in my supermarkets it seems to be like a small little section towards the back corner but i found great things there like one time they had a french bread it's like 10 cents i'm like you just answered it a small <laughs> innocuous corner in the back it was this thing was huge it was like the hugest thing so yeah and and it was fresh it wasn't it wasn't at all like, like it wasn't it wasn't hard at all so it's just like oh my gosh i went home and i made a whole bunch of sandwiches for the kids and you know, Did you notice they didn't anything. put it in the front of the store when you walk in? Mm -hmm. yeah. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled for those little, oh, wait a minute. I like that. I'm going to go back there. Very good. Yeah. And also when I shop online, when I shop online, like when I go to when uh, everyone knows I shop at Walmart too for um, for my, my grocery haul. But I go to the clearance, like I, I type in clearance. 
everything comes because you because you're shopping the store so everything comes up and and i mean sometimes you click on something and you don't get it for the most part like 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 items like you know spices on sale like uh beads like uh, th different things that you would think like like it's 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 commonalities that people buy but i guess they have excess of and they want to the and they want to like clear the shelves so yeah the other thing that might be, you know, noteworthy for anybody, you know, on a tight budget or, you know, trying to save is be open to bread alternatives, mm -hmm. um, meaning you don't have to be like, it doesn't have to always be sliced bread. Oh, my goodness. What am I going to do without sliced bread? Use like a swap out, a substitute. Yeah. Your rice could be your, your bread alternative if you, you know, run out of bread. Your potato, you, you know, your pasta. Those are literally bread alternatives. So you don't have to worry like, oh, I ran out of bread. What am I going to do? If you put that meal together, just go in your pantry and say, oh, okay, I have some pasta. I'm good. That's why it's really good to have those things. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And the supermarkets are trying to make money off of you. So like I, I did, I did a few weeks ago on it. I'll link it down below. But it's also like you go thinking you're just need one item. I only need one item. And the psychological aspect to it, next thing you know, you have a whole bunch of things in your car. They're playing mind tricks on you. Like, so, so again, it's, you know, our, our, like my, is that from these tips, you guys go to the supermarket once or you order your groceries once and see how long you can stretch them out for, you know, because. Like that $50, $50 half a gallon of milk video. Is that the one you're going to link up? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a really good video, guys. You have to check that one out. I loved it. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you, thank you. And um, and I know you mentioned before, but the history chicken, like after a certain time, they're half price. Excellent. Do you know what it is? I want to say it's like six o'clock, around six o'clock every day. They mark them like half off. About yeah, like dinner time, which is very convenient. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you can That's the that. one prepared food, and, and not to interrupt you, because I don't mm -hmm. want to forget, you know, when you're 62, sometimes you forget. Anyway, <laughs> somebody calls my attention. I forgot what I was about to say. No, uh, <laughs> that's the one convenient food I am A-OK -okay with and encourage. If you have a supermarket that runs a manager special on rotisserie done up chicken, mm -hmm. run. Don't walk. Buy more than one if you're allowed to. I don't know. The other one that people tend to not take advantage of is that grocery store's freshly prepared pizza. I have found some of them to be very, very good and as low as $4.99 for a huge pizza. Wow. That sure beats calling in a $12, $14 pizza and having to give a tip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want something more on the fresh side, that's good, but always keep pizza fixings at home that you can make yourself. I never had that before. I never, I never had that before. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds great. Yeah. Oh, I, I have, I have. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's um, already done. You just pick it up and grab and go. Yeah. Fresh. But that would be in the fresh, uh, you know, fresh uh, bakery aisle. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Um, and then, and then now, so now I'm like on something to add something to that. I was thinking we, we move on to like ways to save once you're home with what you bought. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to go first? Go ahead. Okay. Well, first part you you brought up a little bit before, but I like when you have like don't don't be afraid if you're by yourself or like in a small family to, to buy the, the the big family pack of, of the chicken. Do I, I had on this? Dawn, I love you, but I'm on a live show right now with Debbie. <laughs> Dawn, money mom says hi. Wait, hold on. Hello, Dawn. Oh my gosh. Dawn, are you still there? Yes, I am. So, Debbie says hi. The whole world watching says hi to Dawn Money Mom. And I appreciate all the wonderful subscribers and the wonderful YouTubers. I'm going to let you guys get back live for New York yourself, City. Okay. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh my gosh. You pop and then I call you were saying. Oh my goodness. You're so sweet. Um, <laughs> Now I left the phone on in case my sweet daughter called. She knows mm -hmm. mommy's always home at night. I didn't want her calling and say, where is my mother if I unplugged it? So I left it on. So I took a chance. I'm sorry, but not really. That was a fun call. <laughs> that was so sweet. No, that's so sweet. Um, about, about bringing the chicken, like when, when you bring it home, first of all, like, like you said, like, don't be the family pack, right? 
But yeah. like, if you're by yourself or, or you're with a small family, like there's so many things that you can do, right? You can mm -hmm. you can portion it out. This is just one example I, I wrote. You can portion portion out into like you know like whether it's you by yourself or you with you know whoever like you're a you know single parent. And yes. that's it for for the meals. And then before you put it in a in a freezer bag, like put a marinade in it. Put a that's right. In it and let it marinate while it's freezing. You know, and that that's way, right. like if you come up with different oh, marinades, wow. now all of a sudden you've turned one pack family of a you know family size for, uh, a chicken, for example, and now you. You've done like different things that you can come up with. And, and my favorite there. marinade, guess what my favorite marinade is? Italian dressing prepared in the bottle. You don't have to go out and buy a separate marinade. For me, that Italian dressing in the bottle, two shakes of a lamb's tail, put that on what you just described. I love your idea. Oh, Amazing. Thank you. thank you. I tried the Italian dressing. I'm going to try it next time. Absolutely. Love, 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 love. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 then obviously like you know i know you and i talked about this before too but like if you're going to cook something cook twice like cook twice the amount you know because now you're dirtying the once you're making, yeah. you're making the meal for 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 you or for your family now and less on your gas bill yeah the rest and freeze it i love freezing things like um i haven't tried freezing cooked chicken yet i haven't tried that yet to be honest but like pastas and any kind of pasta I make, you know, like I'll, I'll take, I'll do half now, same pot, two pots. What does it matter? Like I make it doesn't matter. now and then I freeze it. Like, and, and if you're by yourself, buy at the 99 cent store, you have those tiny little tins like that. That's one for one portion, portion of mouse, come up, you know, that's my favorite part coming home after you bag the deal and maximizing every single thing you bought. To me, that's the fun part. That's not the work part. The work part is preparing to go to the store, being at the store, whatever. The fun part is maximize. You can make a game out of it. What yeah. you just described stretches a lot. Mm -hmm. And consider yourself the CEO of your home. You are mm -hmm. the chief executive officer of your kitchen or the mm -hmm. CFO if you want to raise yourself a little more. Mm -hmm. The chief yeah. financial officer of your kitchen, for example. Yeah. You Absolutely. can man you, you manufacture when you make a recipe, you are manufacturing your own meals. Mm -hmm. When when I, I do that, when I freeze it, I know it might sound silly because it's like I it, I should in the tin, I should know what's in the freezer. But my hope is to stack up my freezer as I go along, you know. And I mean obviously when we're having a day, I take something out and I defrost it on the counter all day long and then I pick it in the oven. I haven't had to cook, I haven't had to dirty anything. But what I do is I take a permanent marker and <laughs> I have to say permanent marker because that's how I thought I was like being like, you know, so smart and doing this. I use a race marker. And as soon as I stacked it up, it's, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is it? I forgot what it was. And, and it, oh, I was like, it's like, wow, like real, you know, real great. Um, so so before, before you see, um, the top on it, like what I like to do is take some plastic wrap and put the plastic wrap on it and then put yeah. the top on it and seal it up because that adds an extra layer of sealing to it. So it actually lasts a little in the freezer. So you won't ever get those little crystals if you leave them in there. No, no. That's what I learned on another channel as well. This other mm -hmm. channel mentioned, a, like, for example, so let's say you bought a whole bunch of chicken legs in a family pack, okay? But it's only a family of one. You're not going to eat 10 chicken legs at once. No, certainly. So let's say you have a package of 20. So let's say you enjoy two chicken legs. Wrap up two for yourself, but make the little wrappings and put all of those individually wrapped twosies in one big freezing bag so you mm -hmm. can use it as you go along. Nice. It's already just grab and go. Nice. Nice. They sell those. They sell them like that. But, and, and, and Lovely. And on sale, that's what I buy. Because again, oh, that's it great. On how many people are home? How many? But well, you have that trusty home. machine that I always need to remember oh, to get. The, the vacuum sealer. <laughs> the vacuum sealer. Yes. <laughs> no, but but they but they sell they sell the chicken like that, like the brand that I like to buy. Like have the the bag with the, with the individual. That's great. The I didn't know sealer. that. They they cross faster than anything. You just take them. You just put them on the counter. Half hour, hour later, like you know, a little. Like, is the price reasonable? Water. I mean, that's kind of a convenience. Are they charging a little more, or is it the same price, price point for that? 
I, I, when I buy it, I usually have a coupon and I usually buy it when it's on smart. Sale. Okay. You're ahead of the game. That's great. Yeah. Cause when you don't, is it priced up more? Probably because it's been priced up more, but I, but I feel like, like, the, because I use a coupon and I wait for it to be on sale for sale. I mean like 40% off, like 40% off. Wow. If it says 10% off, like you keep your sale. I'm um, like, I'm not, I'm not. Like, I'm not messing around for 10% off. <laughs> no, 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 don't, by all means. I get so excited at these sales. Now, yeah. for example, what you just described, I just wrote it down, of course, on, you know, a cheap envelope, but, you know, <laughs> I guess I am slightly. Anyway, I call this divide, conquer, and freeze. Mm -hmm. Divide what you have. Conquer it by using it to your lifestyle. If you have a family of four, two chicken legs is not going to do it. You have to go according to your life. If you only enjoy one chicken leg, then why would you freeze two at a time? Whatever. Work with what you have. And yeah. never, ever buy things that are just like one-shot only meals. That is a money waster. You know those one-time only? Like you see those little tiny packs of chicken, uh, boneless chicken breast, tiny pack. That may be, it may look reasonable, but is it reasonable? Well, you could pay a little bit more, get a lot more bang for your buck, go for the, a little bit of extra. In that case, you're saving money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And then when I, when I write, another another thing that like helps me a little bit too is I write what's in the dish on the aluminum, oil, on the aluminum um, pan before I freeze it. And I also write how, how long it took me to cook it. Like what's the temperature that, go, that it goes in the oven? So you're giving the instructions, the instructions yes, for I, anybody. I, I write it out. And, and it's funny because just in case I'm not the one putting it in the oven. That's I write right. Big letters like remove the wrap before putting it I love in the that. oven. <laughs> I love that. So I you know, there'll be a thing where my son's like, oh, I'll help. You know, I'll put it in the oven. And I'll be like, no. oh. <laughs> you know, that's very thoughtful. Suppose you have, like anyone has that night, extra night at work. Mm -hmm. They just call home and say, just read the instructions, blah, 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 bingo. That is really smart. I like that a lot. And then plus also, like, if you're trying a recipe, like, and, and you froze half of it, like, and you want to you wanna have to be, where is that recipe? Like, what was the temperature I cooked it in? Because hopefully you, it sat in the freezer for a while until you get it again. So, yeah. Um, I brought, um, oh, um, the vacuum sealer. So speaking of the vacuum sealer before. I got my vacuum sealer, and again, only if you can afford it. But or people got gift cards for the holidays sometimes. Vacuum sealer invest. Good idea. Mine so inexpensive. Mine was so inexpensive. The thing looks like it's like a hundred years old. Works perfect. I didn't get anything fancy that matches my countertop. It's white. It's small. It, it looks like I don't know what to say. It, it probably looks like like the size of like a piece of paper cut in half. Like that. That's how long it is. Oh, not bad. I got it with the bags, of course. And I, I, I have it stored in the, in the tiny corner inside my, my cupboard. When I need it, I pull it out. It's, that thing has saved me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. That's an investment. It, it was like, um, I'm, I really think it was less than $30. I'm going to guess and say $25 back then. Wow. But, um, and I got it on sale. But the, um, wow. the, what I like about it is how many times have we come home from the supermarket, you know, and you have great intentions, you have a lot of time, I'm just going to take this chicken, and I'm going to put it in the freezer or steak, that's happened to me with steak, and I put it in the freezer, and then what happens, hopefully you're building a stockpile, the freezer, yeah. and things get pushed to the bottom, and then you go get it, and the things, the thing looks like, like it's half ice, you know, like, I'm like, are you going to, it's unidentifiable, what is that UFO in my freezer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, oh my God. It's scary. Like, what? <laughs> I'm going to eat that thing? <laughs> Which is the reason why I label things, too, because I don't, I don't want to ever pull something out and be like, what's that? You know, so the, I vacuum seal it, you know, and I put the marinade, in. vacuum seal it. I say what it is, like, you know, <laughs> steak marinated in blah, 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 you know, and then the freezer wow. goes, you know, in and forgetful another time. So I, I mean, love that. I idea. Only, only people afford it. Like, I don't need to go out and blow a lot of money, but. If you look for you know, Debbie, yeah. you you might consider a show or when you come head on back to my show in the not so distant future. Mm -hmm. I believe we need to do a show, <clears throat> all of us in this kind of community, on what freezes better than other things for meal preparing. Mm -hmm. Some people don't know like the differences, in my opinion. I think that's helpful information. Because we don't one thing we both don't like, and I know a lot of you guys out there hate it, food waste. Mm -hmm. We don't like that. Yeah, yeah. No, <clears throat> Certain things freeze much better. 
than other thing. Yeah, no, that sounds great. That sounds great. Um, and that's what that's the things I was gonna say too. It's like some people are afraid of trying to face things <clears throat> because they don't know if it's gonna like a lot of those questions when I do like my quick meals, like in on I'll post a video and it's like, you know, like they'll see me taking like frozen peppers or like onions or carrots or celery. Um, and they'll be like, How do you know what to freeze? Well, if you don't know if something freezes the way that you want it to, like fresh broccoli, like you should blanch it, you know, before you freeze right. it. Right. Because that way, that way it improves the flavor. One time I didn't do that and I thought it was okay. And when I went to eat it, it was kind of like. Um, not right. Not right. No, no. It, 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 not that it was bad, but it definitely didn't have the flavor that it would have if I would have blanched it first. It was kind of almost like crumbly, you know? I'm like, mm. Exactly. You it know? changes the texture. The, te the texture um, definitely changes. Mm -hmm. so, so that's why I'm, I'm like, if you, have a, if you have a question about freezing, Google it. Like Google's your best friend. Google can come up with so many answers to so many questions that you have. Like, hey, I've got this, this, and that. what can I make? Oh, voila, add some tomato sauce and you can make this, you can make that. Like, don't freeze something like this, freeze it like that. Like we all learn one way or another, you know, like where- That's it. I mean, you know, accidents are the best thing that happens sometimes because we learn from them mostly. Yeah. Oh, the other budget stretcher, and I will swear by this one, and I must be called the- Pancake mix, complete pancake ah. mix. I am sorry. You could do a myriad of things with that. That is one staple that you should invest in in the beginning mm -hmm. of the month because sometimes times are a little tougher towards the end of the month. Mm -hmm. You have that. You have your bread. You have your breakfast. I've actually tried to make pizza from it. It works, but I didn't care if it was a little sweet. But you can make the darnest, nicest coffee cake out of it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I remember I was on your show a few weeks ago. You mentioned that, and I was like, "Why?" Like, and you're like, "Why?" <laughs> Thirteen by nine. My cousin actually made that coffee cake and took it to a party. That's how much she was wow. so happy with that cake. Oh wow, that's really creative. Um, that was the other thing I was going to talk about. Like, sometimes fresh vegetables are on sale at the supermarket. Like, don't be a buying something fresh if it's on sale. Like, if it's on sale and you can afford it. Like buy it. Don't always have to. You don't always have to buy frozen vegetables. Obviously, sales with frozen vegetables. Buy frozen vegetables. There's really much of a difference because <laughs> when they when they freeze the vegetables, I actually I actually uh, looked this up. I saw something on, about um, supermarket like packaging and things like that, and I was just like intrigued by this. But like all those places that freeze the, that freeze the vegetables, they wait till they're at their at their um, highest freshness, and then they freeze. Them. Because if they if because if they're gonna freeze something that's kind of turning, that's gonna be a good product for them, and no one's gonna want to buy it. You're correct. Mm -hmm. And I think canned vegetables and fruit—we overlook fruit—get a terrible rap, and they shouldn't. I don't want to keep bragging about cans because watch the prices start going up. Mm -hmm. Can to me, canned stuff is the supermarkets supermarkets' best kept secret. Because, for example, um. Suppose that, again, middle month on, fat cat, skinny chicken time in a month, you could run to your pantry. You could get that canned fruit if you ran out of the fresh, you know. Mm -hmm. It's there. And today, fruits are so big. Like an apple in, in today's time is two or three times the size of an apple when I was a kid. I'm not even kidding you, Debbie. For real. Mm -hmm. You could cut that thing in half and share it. You could put some squeeze, some fresh lemon, uh, not only lemon, but I'd like to put squeeze fresh orange juice on it. I take an orange, I prick it. I let the juice come out. I keep that orange. No seeds come out. I use what I need. I put back that orange and wrap it. I get a few uses out of it. It's the easiest way. So I put that orange juice over my sliced apple with a little cinnamon, put that in the refrigerator, it lasts a couple of days and, and people can share on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I I had I have videos on how to um, maximize things in the freezer and put things in your freezer that you wouldn't even imagine that you could use later on. And lemon and I lem I have a bag of lemon, limes, and orange and oranges. Really? Oh, I love that. I <laughs> tell you why. I have a wooden cutting board, and when I'm cutting things that you know, like like jalapeno peppers or onions, like the board starts to smell. Like I can wash it and wash it and wash it and wash it, and that's gonna smell. So I put a little coarse salt on it. I take the 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 the, the um what's left of, of the limes or the lemons or the oranges, and you just give it a good rub. And all comes right off. How do you like? I'm writing that one down. I'm glad I have my pen. <laughs> Lemon. <laughs> I'm not kidding. 
in. I write, <laughs> I write things you tell me all day. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> This is how I learn. I mean, you know? Yeah. If you learn one new thing every day, it's a good day. What, dear? What's that? Say, I'm you, sorry, say you, that had, you had said something that I overlapped you. I apologize. What was that? <laughs> well, we both overlap. No problem. <laughs> um, I was going to say, what else was I going to say? Um, uh, oh, it, um, leftovers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my friend leftovers i mean i mean we've talked about this before but like if you're on an income if you know if you're by yourself if you, if, you know if for any circumstance at all like leftover yeah, there's so many options to do with them like i mean you can roll them into another meal you, know, you can freeze them heck yeah for example okay suppose you have leftover rice anybody out there ever eat a rice ball if you've never had a rice ball, I should show you the oh. recipe on a future show. It's basically rice, and you make it like as if a meatball. You could uh, chop into it fresh ham, mm -hmm. or you could chop – if well, well, if you're on a budget, normally you don't have prosciutto. But if you happen to have some prosciutto, <laughs> but the fresh ham will suffice. Whatever you have that works, a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese and the uh, flavored Italian breadcrumbs, put it all together, and you make a ball out of it instead of meat, instead of meat. You're just swapping out all the same ingredients like a meatball pretty much. And you fried that up. Woohoo! That'll never taste like a you, quote leftover. That is yummy. You just made my stomach growl. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you said fried up, I was like, oh. I can imagine the skillets are coming out tonight across America. <laughs> You got a physical reaction out of me. I was like, oh my God. It is, it is a crowd pleaser. I've had instances where I had certain people over. I, this is a true story. About two years ago, I made a whole bunch of those rice balls, right? I'm known for them. So I put them down and my company came, but they were to be eaten by everyone that visited. There were two sweet people that I love very much. They thought it was a party of two. They devoured the whole plate. Wow. Love you. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that that's that's really creative. That really creative. And that that was the result of leftover, as we call it, rice. Mm -hmm. You could take. Remember the pasta dish? How many times I bring that one up? But the keep. Do not. Don't ever. Well, don't ever throw away food you can use. That's wrong. But keep your leftover cooked pasta in a nice food container. Okay. I took a handful, threw it in, and made a chicken lo mein. Um, I mean, a vegetable or made a mix. You can make a chicken. You can shred a chicken, shredded beef, leftovers, vegetables, throw it in. Yum. No takeout. Mm -hmm. I've even seen chefs. I, I, I did it. I, 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 and I don't know what to do with it, but I did it. I even see chefs, like, when they make bacon. I don't cook bacon often. You know, not, not anything I cook bacon. I just, it's right. not something that I staple with my body. But for right. years, I made a bunch of little appetizers. I've seen chefs on TV take the bacon fat and put it in a container and put it in the freezer because yeah, going to use that like it's like like you know I freeze fat and then I throw it out like with a a lot of my subscribers have mentioned that to do that mm -hmm. it, it, it offers the flavor. Mm -hmm. So I did. I have a little jar in my freezer. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to do with it, but it's there. It's there. Well, it's better there than in your drain. Yes, I mean, yes, yeah. which, is, which is what I do. I, I freeze them in, in the little coffee pot, the co coffee cans, and then I throw them so you know, no damage to the drain. I, I you can, I, I, you know, use that rendered fat inside of recipes, it, it actually offers you know, a unique flavor, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And then, so like with with leftovers, like there's so many things that you could do, like you were saying, like, like your your example was perfect, like take something, turn it into something else, you know. Taco, yeah. taco, I, I've turned taco meat into, into shepherd's pie, I've put taco meat in, oh. in, in, a, in, in pasta bakes, like. Like, I'll be over at eight since you're in Jersey. <laughs> I'm going there. That's it. <laughs> it's like, roll it into something. And then what I've done is like what's left of it, like I'll make a shepherd's pot and then I'll freeze it. Like I'll make double and I'll freeze it. Like there's so many things that you could do. Like I, I the constant comment I get, and again, like I love my the comment that I get because it comes up with videos like we're doing today. But a lot of comments that always say, you know, pretty much about leftovers, like, oh you know, my family doesn't like leftovers. Like we don't eat leftovers. I'm like you could you could freeze it. 
and you can have a meal, the exact same meal that you enjoyed now. You can you can freeze it and have it a few weeks later. And then it's not a leftover, it's a new meal. I have to intrude. If you're viewing this and you're enjoying the show, please slam on the like button on Debbie's oh, channel. I always say that. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> and then and then the last tip that I have, and I, I don't know like, what else you want to add to it, because I'm sure you've got a thousand things you could say, is I'm not a vegetarian. Oh, I, you're my you're my you're you're my frugal uh, person. I turn to like I could talk to you all day. Is I'm not a vegetarian. Oh, I got vegetarians, but when I make a vegetarian meal, that's a saving. I actually, Heck yeah! I actually <laughs> I, I I go on Pinterest. If you like, if you like Pinterest, go on Pinterest, and you just put in vegetarian. The amount of meals you can come up with, and so much of it is right in your pantry. Like it's not anything. And, like and, and, yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I gotta say this one because I was going to mention before and it slipped my mind. Thank you for bringing it up. Yeah, yeah. This is a, a love affair with with certain times with vegetables and stuff. Okay, in this case, it's pick up a little bag of split peas. A ninety nine cent bag of split pea soup yields a ton. Mm -hmm. It freezes so well. It's good for you. It tastes great. You mm -hmm. can flavor it up with whatever you like. Put in a carrot or onion and celery. Very inexpensive. Within two hours, you've got a huge pot. And I like freezing those. And they defrost very well. Just have a share. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I don't know if she's watching, but uh, Patty from Life with Patty, did you see her show today? She she uh, a, vegetable, a vegetable pot. I have to go back. I have to review so many things. And I'll probably do it later on tonight. That soup, I was like, I mean, just like when you were talking about your rice bowl, the soup, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Patty's got good stuff. Oh, if you guys don't watch The Life of Patty, you got, you got to check out her channel. She's not only like the sweetest person, but she's so creative with her recipes. She's she's just amazing. So do you have any more left, any more comments or, or tips before we move on to the comments? Uh, just one thing. Mm -hmm. Pasta makes one of the best things to freeze. I mean, macaroni and cheese, that is not expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, any, any pasta, don't be afraid to make prepare pasta meals and freeze. Uh, baked DT, you don't have to do the meat version. You mm -hmm. could do the marinara sauce version with a can of drained mushroom instead. Yum. Makes great freezing, divides very well, mm -hmm. and saves a bundle. Yep, absolutely. That's absolutely. it for me on that. That's it, that's it for you on that. Can you send comments? No. You can't? Okay. So, so oh, okay. Do you know Vita, Happy on a Budget and more? Do you know her? I know of her. You are one of the kindest people ever. Yeah, she's so sweet. She's so sweet. So she says, uh, oh, she says that she uh, didn't want to sit on uh, the show. Lisa Miller says hi. Hi, Lisa. She, uh, she's one of the ones I got from you. She's a doll. She's uh, a loyal. Oh, Oh my gosh, she's great. Walter, Walter, on. He says, Hey, Hello. Walt, talk to you at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> um, how? She says hi to us and our viewers. Oh. Uh, Lisa was telling us that she can hear us. Good. Um, Avery's home search. Oh my gosh, she's great. She does a lot. She does DIYs. And I, I, I just, she's, she's great. She can decorate. She, she can decorate a room and it looks like the talent that ever. is on this platform is mm -hmm. absolutely and i really mean it the talent on this platform i could just drown myself in videos yeah no a avery home search you, you gotta go out she's great she really is uh, uh for let me see uh walter says for over 20 years i've i've uh pre-cooked meals soup uh, uh uh supper mostly that's great oh i know he's smart in the kitchen we're friends i know yeah uh, oh, Game, yep. Street, Game Street says hi. He's one of my followers. He's so sweet. Oh, oh, here we go. Steve's here. That's right. You better be here. Hey, Steve. <laughs> how are you? How you feeling? <laughs> Steve says, um, anything that you can imagine can be made in a slow cooker. That's right. I, I, I got to think outside the box with my slow cooker. I really do. Like He has made Steve. the most amazing <laughs> stuff in his slow cooker, Debbie. Steve, yeah. I know for a fact, mm -hmm. factually, he has baked cookies. He has done, I believe, cakes. He, of course, did the yogurt. He has done a uh, big ziti. Mm -hmm. Big ziti crock pot. Slow cooker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The the slow cooker. Slow cooker. To me, it's the same thing, isn't it? The same thing. The crock. Pot? No, no, no. What I'm saying is that Steve did that. 
Oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, Walter says, I make short lists of short lists of food items, canned can good stuff in the freezer, etc. That's great. I know you do. You read them to me every time you go on a haul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he says he also likes air fryers. I haven't, I've never used yes, an you air do. fryer. Have you? Never used oh, an air fryer? I love my air fryer. Really? Best I investment. I, I love it because I don't have to have greasy fries. If I want potatoes, I, I just cut them up for a snack and just pop in my sweet potatoes or my regular. It You don't have to get the fancy multiple hundred one. I live by myself. I only need the small one. For me, that's what works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Say hi to each other. Walter says, keep your supply, uh, but don't let things get too limited. Not not to the point of, of Mother Hubbard covered. Mm -hmm. uh, he's talking no. to <laughs> Sometimes I challenge myself. I'm not always, but sometimes I do. I challenge myself. I'm like, I can go two more days. I can go two more days. I can go one more day. And then I then I go grocery. Oh, Rosh Adams, since Budget is here, she says hi to you and me. Hey. I was her live yesterday. Um, cool. Oh I love God. live. I love live streaming. You know, we get to talk to the folks. There, nothing beats this. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I love this interaction. I really do. Yeah. By the way, could I mention I have a show? Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the unearthly hour of 6 15 a.m. However, I do have people that actually get on there. But you can always watch the replay. We have our cup of coffee together and we chew the fat. We've been talking this week about repurposing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a lot to talk about tomorrow morning. Just oh, saying. That's great. That's great. No, I, I never catch you when you're at 16. <laughs> no, but you always you always catch in a replay. You're a doll. Thank you very much. Every single time with my cup of Every morning, I well, love it's it. very kind of you. I really appreciate it. Thank no, you. I, no, absolutely. I catch you every day. I'm always having my cup of coffee. I'm like, good morning. <laughs> oh, I go like this because it's true. I go, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> God bless everyone that views me and puts up with it. I really appreciate it. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Joel and Christy are here. They, oh, love them. Fun. Love them. Um, Hello. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, everyone's saying hi. Talk to about other. a channel. That's some channel. Um, everything. I love their live stream. Head over to that channel. Love. I was watching the live and my phone died, and I was like, no, no, <laughs> no. Steve and I tuned in on Sunday. And their their the recipes, their grocery hauls. If you guys don't know the long run, Joel and Chris, I, they're they're fantastic. You got to go check them out. You really do. They're really great, and they're such sweet people too. They, they, they really, really are. People. They really yeah, are. Absolutely. Um, let me see. Oh, Steve. Okay, so Steve Young Pine. If you guys don't know his channel, you got to go check him out. He's busting his chops saying he better be watching us, but uh, he's a he's a great <laughs> guy. <laughs> Where are Steve, you? Steve, I'll be happy to be on your next live uh, <laughs> as soon as you know. When we, you know, when you have that topic ready that you were about to, uh, oh. Steve and I will probably go live again soon. You know. No, Everybody knows us together because, you know, he comes, he's my regular channel contributor. And thank you mm -hmm. for that, Steve. Mm -hmm. Great guy. Knows a lot about money. Every time, every time I hear him talk about money, I'm like, wow. He, he's phenomenal. Been, yeah. No, absolutely. He's very smart. So he says, um, I've said this time and time and plan my meals around the weekends in addition to sneak peek. Oh, there you go. See, sneak peek. Okay. Oh, Lisa Miller. Uh, we love the sneak peek ads. I, I guess that's what they're called. I think you started something. I know, right? <laughs> Hashtag sneak peek. No. <laughs> Where are those sneak peek ads? Wednesday's coming up. <laughs> uh, we, we love the sneak peek ads. Last week we didn't buy anything because we had enough. That's great. Uh, this was stocking up on canned goods. That's fantastic. Two weeks went by. Mm -hmm. Ate every, every meal I had to eat. Still going mm -hmm. strong. It goes to show if you're prepared, you don't have to shop all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all the Neelys are on here. Hey, Yay. How, how are, are you? you? Oh, they're awesome. I was just watching. Yes, they are. Today too. God bless them. Uh, oh, Steve's talking about his lentil soup recipe and everyone's interested. Oh, yeah. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Neely says smaller plates. Absolutely. <sighs> Mm -hmm. I mean, this monster bowl that people. Who, uh. I know, I, I know, 
I, that's another topic I can talk to you about. <clears throat> too. Okay, okay, a future show. Yeah, okay, we got a date. That's absolutely, it. absolutely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kathy uh, Fitzpatrick on here. Hi, Kathy. Uh, let's see. Oh, the Neely side. Oh, look. Yay. That's right. Tap on the old uh, that's comment. That's right. I forgot I could do that, so I just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, oh, the Neely said they went way overboard for the for the holidays, and and we for sure uh, did not have smaller plates. We had platters. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, that's too funny. <clears throat> the old trusty glasses. <laughs> that is too funny. We for sure did not have small. Oh, that's cute. That's well, you know, holidays. Mm -hmm. But in general, the sizes of portions are just ridiculous. I mean, seriously, really uh, mm -hmm. awful. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, um, everyone can click on, on their channel now. Here we go. The long one is Jolene Christie. Yes, Google. I have had a ton of ways to avoid food when searching Google. Absolutely. Google's your friend. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Oh, Lori Jones. Hi. She says she loves my cutting board tip. I'm telling you, I, I love it. Away. I put that thing away and I sometimes, you know, like you're in a hurry, you're cleaning up and all this. Like I open up my thing and I'm like, oh, like, no. <laughs> take it out again. <laughs> Wait, can I mention something? Talk about repurpose. One of my subscribers, Doug, if you're watching this, hi, Doug. He came up with a brainstorm of a temporary cutting board. Mm -hmm. It just reminds me, think about like smelly things like onion or whatever. He uses like leftover cardboard, chop, 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 bye bye. Wow. I thought that was so cool for repurpose. I, I, I really got I really got a repurposing show because I thought I was like the one that. that thought oh, yeah, no, do a repurposing show. The folks mm -hmm. need them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, um, uh, Tony Ann. I, I got, I'm so sorry. I'm going to mispronounce her last name. Uh, Tony and Icolari. Is that Tony and Icolari? Thank you. Tony and we yes. love you. You're so wonderfully loyal to us. <laughs> oh gosh, her comments are the best, and I don't want to pronounce anyone's name. So she says, she goes, hi, Jan and Deb. I feed my veggies and make veggie broth. That was the other thing. The two big comments that I got from, from my, my freezer videos, and I'll link them down. But one of them was about the grinds, the, the lemon lime and the grinds, what I do with the cutting board. Yeah. The other one was my veggie scraps. Like absolutely. <laughs> like I make I make I I when I have a bag is full, I stick it in, in, in my crock pot, I fill it with water and I make vegetable stock. Savings in action right there. Veggie mm -hmm. scraps. Jen, write this down. Veggie <laughs> scraps. I love it. <laughs> I, I I think I saw that on like a cooking show like many years ago, but 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 restaurants do that. Like it's not something like this is approval. Like, you know, like you can you can learn so many tips by watching those food network shows or like or like I encourage anyone to replay this broadcast and write down these uh, bullet point notes. I am not even kidding you because I I mean I have my life too. And there are things I want to remember too. I yeah, love yeah. that veggie scrap idea. Yeah. I, I saw that the restaurants do that. They do that. That's how that's how that's how they make their soups. So 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 they'll make vegetable platters that and they don't have to do it because you know the, the amount of scraps that they get. But that's how they make their soup. Oh, Pam House talking about your rice balls. <laughs> <laughs> they are really good. Okay, okay. In a future broadcast a video, I will make like upload a video describing the recipe. Oh my gosh. I would love could. to make them, but I don't want to eat them because it's January now. But for oh. you guys, keep them. They're really, really a good recipe, go to recipe. You don't feel like funds are low when you eat that. You just mm -hmm. don't. You feel like you need a luxury thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, the more you're talking about it, the I'm getting. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, may I throw this one in? Mm -hmm. Even if funds are low, treat your life as if funds are high. Do little things for yourself throughout the day. Yeah. Like, don't walk around, oh, woe is me. I, you know, I'm on a strict budget. I can't do this. Like, no, don't walk around like that. Walk around like, I'm empowered. I make choices. I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know how you grew up. Like, and, and like, and I know, like, you know, we don't, I, like, I don't talk about this, but, like, I got my, my frugality from my mom. It's funny, like, when you're a little kid, what you actually absorb, and then as you're, as you're a, yourself, kids yourself, it comes out without even thought. Yeah. Enjoy it. 
But my, like my mom, like, she was a stay-at-home mom, like during the day, and at night she would work. Like we, we grew up like low, yeah. middle. Like I can say I, I was middle class. I was like low middle class, like money-wise. Yeah. So my mom never had us feel that way. You know? There was always such no. a activity and such a, you know, like everything was about quality time and we didn't have budgets. We didn't have- Your any, food like, budget has no bearing on you as a person. Yeah. Our bank accounts, this is my opinion, and I believe I'm right, should mm -hmm. never have any bearing on who we are as a person because we're all actually equal as far as persons go. Yeah. So do not ever define yourself in any sort of weird class order by your socioeconomics no. or whatever. If a person at this moment needs to use a snap card, they need to use a snap card. Absolutely. They make the best of their budget. They get creative. Absolutely. That doesn't mean that person is less than someone else who's uh, making $100,000 a year, for example. That's silly. Yeah, yeah. Treat yeah. yourself royally, always. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was about to get onto another topic. Let's stick Sorry, dear. <laughs> you do that. That's fine with you. I know it's because I'm like, I can talk to you, but let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. Let's let's stick to this. Oh my gosh, I have something that's better. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, oh, Lisa Lisa Miller. That she did the thing with the vet straps. Broth. That's right. Yum. Uh, let me see. Yeah, Kathy, Kathy Fitz says it's better than the store bought. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kathy, how are you? <laughs> oh, here's Dur uh, uh, I don't want to pronounce this. Uh, Durga's Delights and Disasters. Oh, that's a cute name. Right mixed with some smashed potatoes to bind with all the ingredients, and they are so good. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. It Thank sounds you. So good. Oh, here comes Vida. Here we go. She's she's so sweet. I want to go to follow her. She she's a new YouTuber, but she's she's frugal. Her personality. You are more than welcome to join me on any uh, live stream chat. By the way, Vita, just hook up with me. Yeah. Anyone that has below one thousand subs and is interested, if you would like to come on my show, I always extend that invitation. Oh, that's so sweet. No, we love to hear about you. We have to, we have to support each other. Vita's awesome. I think her channel is just going to take off, honestly. I can talk about it. Yeah. She, she says you can make eggs with bacon grease. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so hungry. I'm going to your that's house, Vita. Vita, that's a great idea. That's what with it. See? I love this platform. Okay. I really do. <gasps> oh, Lisa Miller telling me right now. I use bacon grease to pop popcorn. Wow. I never heard of that. Lisa, you're teaching. Let me write this down. Oh, my gosh. Grease, popcorn. I love popcorn. Grease, bacon, popcorn. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If, if anyone sees my grocery hauls, and I'll link some below, too, popcorn is like my snack. Like, I buy the big, yeah. the big yeah. jars of the seeds, and I pop my own. And I'm that is very budget-friendly. If, if you get it like that, and you if you use it, it's healthy, too. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flavor it any way yeah. you want. You can flavor it. Heck in yeah. yeah. But the bacon grease. Oh, Lisa's funny. I'm doing that this weekend. <laughs> this weekend. I'm silly. Oh, Eileen Lester is here. Give a second. Hey, Eileen. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, I missed her. Hold on a second. I did something. Oh, here we go. Uh, Want to tap her comment on, dear, so I can yeah, see so it? I'm doing that. Let me see. Oh, she, she's dictating her, her text message. It didn't come through before. Oh, you're dictating it. Okay. I <laughs> I tried doing that. What else? Dictating message people. Uh, Vita, <laughs> leftovers rock. They're delicious, fun, and money savers. Amen. I love, I, I, you know, I think that word needs to be banned. Could somebody come up with a great word? You know, mm -hmm. this is a fun challenge. Maybe for the next show you have, somebody could come up with another word. I love a substitute word for that word. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. Oh, Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh, she says she adores us both. She's so sweet. Oh, my goodness. We love you, too, and yes. we will see you soon. I'm going to uh, send to you, Kate, uh, a bunch of uh, dates and times, and you mm -hmm. let me know what works for you. The same for you. There's actually going to be a future show on my show. Imagine this. Talk about a lot of, like, powerful. <laughs> Debbie and Kate Caden on the same show. I am beyond humbled. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no, I'm looking forward to that. That's amazing. So fun. Oh, Kaden, Kaden is with her, and he says hi. Hi, Kaden. He's How are you? Adorable. He's such an adorable little boy. He uh, really is. Uh, let me see. Um, there are a lot of veggies you can re- Oh, I've heard that. Kathy, that's, there's a lot of vegetables that you can regrow, and they're delicious. Wow. 
I've heard of that. I've seen that on I've seen that on YouTube. I'm trying to think what what was it? I think it was like uh, a spring. I think a spring onion you could do that. You can do that uh, with with a carrot. I have done that with like regular onions and like the little scallion thing comes out of it after a while. Yeah, yeah. They're so that's cute. Right. <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. Uh, just gonna... Oh, <laughs> she is the sweetest. Eileen, she learned the veggie scrap tips from me. <laughs> oh, she is. Uh, you know, that's what the great thing about this platform is not only do you like connect with people like you, like you and I become friends, like on YouTube, but you have like such great subscribers. Eileen, her comments, I feel like I always learn from her. I, I I cannot believe the plethora of amazing people that I have met thanks to this platform. If I didn't join this platform, I would never have had the honor to to know these people. Thank you so much, including yeah, you, Miss so Debbie. So <laughs> oh, I feel the same way about you, Jan. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, well, uh, uh, Vita, yes, yes, she did. I saw that video. She that that her son said he didn't feel like he was ever poor growing up. I when I saw that, I was like I, I my comment to her was good. so much in common. Very good. So much in common. I love that. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, the one Joel and Chris. They've seen they've seen other people doing that green onion thing recently. It's I think it's trending on you on 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 YouTube because I a lot of people um, start doing that. Start I will check that. into that. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Oh, here goes Eileen Chives. That's what it is. That's what I've seen. I've seen the chives. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you can cut that up and throw it in your cream cheese. By the way, cream mm -hmm. cheese is a blank canvas. I used to live another place uptown. Mm -hmm. They had this store, like a gourmet kind of store, fancy schmancy, mm -hmm. with like about 30 different flavored cream cheeses. You could do this yourself. So I made up one day, I made up the maple walnut one. Loved it. I took a little pancake syrup and chopped up some walnuts. Mm -hmm. And you could plop up some raisins if you like and add that to that. Yum. Mm -hmm. That was such a spread. It was so good. Compound Chive. butter. Compound yeah. butter. That's something. That's Compound something butter. You yum. You can make your own. You can make your own. Yes, ma'am. Put in anything you want and it flavors everything. You can add it to recipes. Like, it's great. It's flavored great. oils. You could do the same thing with flavored oil. You don't have to spend I a fortune on flavored oil. Yeah. Those fancy bottles at the supermarket for like twenty dollars, and I'm like, you could do the song. Grab <laughs> like rosemary and put in. That's it. You know, make your own fancy bottle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be your own CFO. Manufacture at home. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get excited about working in the kitchen. We don't have to be a fancy chef. We could all be great cooks. Yeah. Even as you or we could know what we put in our food, which mm -hmm. is really important. And you, and you learn from mistakes too. Like, I don't know about you, but like how many times have, I, have I thought I'm going to make this and then next thing you know, it turns into something else. And my family's like, oh, that new recipe, that's great. I'm like, yeah, that was a new recipe. <laughs> 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 I ran out of this and I put this in instead, you know, and they think it's great. They think it's something new, but in my mind, like score, like, you know, they're not complaining. It's great for me. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I have to answer the, the crock pot more. I really do. I use it. I do use it, but I don't use it as often, as much as I should. Like, I well, yeah, you know, it's and it's also wonderful if you have a party, if you have a, a dinner party. I love using the uh, slow cooker, having everything done up. That way, I'm not just cooking while my guests there. I can sit down, and talk to them, and hang out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like and they they've actually served themselves from the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. Talk about easy cleanup. I make yeah. no bones about it. My friends don't care. They're like, we don't care. We like your food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Thanksgiving. I've seen I've seen the crock pot used a lot in Thanksgiving. Like when people want to bring a dish over, they bring their crock pot instead. You know, so you don't have to take Amen. And then just plug it in. And so. that's great for a potluck dinner. You mm -hmm. could have like if you could set up a few of those. Everybody brings their own. It's always hot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have had so much fun with you. I just look, and we're at an hour and twenty three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You guys rock. <laughs> if you're still here from seven o'clock, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, my lives are at seven o'clock every Tuesday and I talk about saving time, saving money and Jan. Thank you so much for, for, for coming on board with this. Once I started. I had a blast. I love you guys. I love doing live streams. Thank you. 
No, no. When I once I got those comments and and you know, like and people losing their jobs, like you know, like living on, yeah. on minimal income, especially now with everything going on, like I just knew I knew you were the person to call so we can together. So my pleasure. So we may consider doing like maybe a once a month series. We could talk backstage later. You yeah, know, in the protest studio. I would a, a consider a, like a monthly uh, update with this because we're in challenging times yes. and all of us. So yes. if we could share our ideas and help each other, that's what I love about our communities. Mm -hmm. Like learning about that, uh, for example, that uh, repurposing trick from Doug, for mm -hmm. example, and so many others. We help each other out. We share mm -hmm. and we're helping yeah. each other out. And I, we, we learn each other. We really do. I, I I can't even tell you the amount of YouTubers that I get ideas from, you know, and then, and I, you'll hear something new and it'll spark a new idea in yourself as well. Like it's so inspiring, you know, and exactly and it used to be something that used to be looked down on. And now it's something that's like enjoyed and talked about and, you know, yeah. and, and China Vita's and yours and mine and, you know, and others out there like, like Kate, you know, like it's just, it's, it can, it really, it can I have really to say me. this before I forget. Tomorrow yeah. morning on my live show at 6.15, mm -hmm. I'm going to shout out a channel. I'm not mentioning the name now because I am obsessed with this particular video that, in my opinion, anybody viewing this tonight must find out. You don't have to catch me 6.15 a.m. Catch me on, on a replay. Mm -hmm. You have to check out the channel that I'm going to mention. Just saying, I'm very selective when I choose channels. I chose Debbie, remember? Mm-hmm. When, a long when, time when ago. You, when you recommend someone, like I'm all ears, honestly, I'm all ears. And, and thank you. You, I, my, the first you time I set my for. ears, the first time I set my ears and eyes on you, I said this lady has to be known. Mm, so sweet, so sweet. Oh my gosh, no, I feel the same. I honestly do. And making this a regular series, thank that's you. fantastic. I love that idea. I think so. I think it would work. Yeah, I think it would work for real. Mm -hmm. I would love that. Well, I'm gonna link Jan's channel below, uh, below too, and um and uh, Thank the you. videos that we've mentioned. What videos we to link on uh from yours as uh, down below as well. And this is the regular series of Tuesdays at seven. And this has been great. I, I really appreciate it. If you guys have any suggestions, well, like as you tell, like we take you seriously. We want to help. Just please let let me know in the comment section down below. Send me a message on Instagram, like you guys done before. And, you know, give us some ideas as to what else to do to help you save money any way we can or save time, too, because that can definitely be something that, that can help out as well. Thanks again, Gian, for having me on. I'm having me on. <laughs> thank, no, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. And no, well, that's because you'll, you'll be on my show soon enough with Kate I one day. Um, I, so I, I could see why you said that. Thank you so much for having me. No, no, no. Thanks so much for being on, honestly. And I really appreciate it. She, My she pleasure. Absolutely. This challenge. As soon as I told her what it was about, she's like, tell me when and I'm there. So, and here, here's the <laughs> so, Thanks so much. Thank you guys all for watching. You're welcome. Thank really you guys for being here. Oh, no. Pleasure's on mine. Thank you. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.